Hello everyone, welcome to another Ultimate Admirals Dreadnoughts video, and today we have another ship. This one I never knew about, because, well, for good reason, it was overshadowed by the Yamato. But, a person in one of my previous Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts video, I don't know which one, despite there only being like four or so, uh, mentioned this thing, and I was like, huh, never heard of it, slapped it in the list, and uh, randomized the list four times. We had three Japanese ships and one Russian battleship and well this one some surprisingly came on top so the ship in question is the number 13 class this is a fast battleship and I never heard about it because like I said it was sort of overshadowed by the Yamato and looking at it right now in a way it's sort of like an enlarged Congo class design if you will so, yeah, but we'll talk about it whenever we're building it. So let's hop into custom battle. So we are going to be Japan. And, yeah, let's fight the U.S. Uh, 2,500 meters. Two battleships, two battle cruisers, two heavy cruisers. That's it. The U.S. shall bring one battleship. Yeah, five. Nah. Four heavy cruisers, five light cruisers. And in a way, that's sort of decent. Let's bring it back to 1935. We don't want to go too far ahead, but yeah. So let's see if we can design this thing. And well, I'm actually wanting to talk about it because it's very interesting because I've never heard about this thing. So let's get to designing her, shall we? So the number 13 class battleships uh, there were four planned. Number 13, 14, 15, and 16. Such great names, I know. The name that I chose, though, was made from a, uh, a World of Warships, uh, concept, uh, design, if this ship was in World of Warships. All in all, though, uh, these ships on paper seem like, yeah, they're definitely fast battleships. So, they built these ships part of the 8-8 uh, fleet plan, which was eight battleships, eight battle cruisers, being four of different types. So I guess they would have had these four fast battleships and then four much more uh, heavier, larger battleships, probably armed with the same armament of 18 inch guns, which is why I find this ship to be very interesting. Uh, 1920s 18 inch guns. I mean, yeah, there were some ships with 18 inch guns before that, but for something like this i think that this ship would have had the most barrels uh most 18 inch gun barrels for a vessel at the time so the go-ahead was given 1920 uh they were looking at the designs reading them over making some adjustments and then 19 and then 22 uh well the washington naval treaty was signed and well japan was like aw crap we have to sort of abide by it otherwise either we pay a lot of money or they take a lot of ships away and so the Japanese sort of had to abide by it but yeah so these ships weren't just designed though for the 8-8 fleet plan but also because late 1919 uh, 1919 yeah it was 1919 I was about to say late 1910s but yeah I think it was 1919 our president Woodrow Wilson at the time announced to pretty much the whole world we're going to be modernizing the United States Navy. Japan was like, okay, um, we need some new ships. And so these things popped up. Uh, the reason why, apart from the U.S. Navy saying they were going to rebuild and modernize, was also because, well, the United States Navy was one of the uh, large, had the largest presence in the Pacific next to Britain, but Britain was occupied sort of at the time, uh, even after the war. But, yeah, so these ships were uh, pretty uh, surprising, to say the least, reading the stats. I think they would have made perfect ships. 47,000 tons, 900 feet long, 101 feet wide, 32 foot draft, 30 knot top speed, and uh, four turrets, each with uh, dual 18 inch guns. 16 5.5 inch single barreled guns now in the blueprints it shows that she had casemates so i put all those five inch guns in the casemates 
than eight single 4.7 uh, inch anti-aircraft guns. So uh, I rounded it up to five and I did not have enough room for single barreled guns so I had to put them in dual barrel gun turrets. Then eight torpedo tubes, each one being 24 inches in diameter. So without a doubt that's packing a lot of heat to uh, you know go at a battle line against the enemy. So yeah these ships weren't built but uh, after they were cancelled in 1922, 1923 the entire uh, J Japanese Navy was like look we cannot abide by this stupid damn treaty any longer so next thing they said okay what's the plans because this ship was supposed to uh, key class KII class and well they said well look we'll take this thing and instead of um, uh, building it a, or just upsizing it, which it was basically an upsized Congo class looking at it now, but they said, look, we'll take the guns and we'll put them on a bigger ship. We'll have more barrels. And they made the Yamato. And they made that ship, though, in secrecy. It's, I'm pretty sure that some people knew that the number 13 class was probably being built. So, yeah, four of them were planned, four of them were cancelled, and, well, though they were never built, we can, however, sort of build it in the game, and I try my best to. Uh, the funnel is sloped, the hull is not the right uh, hull, if you will, but it was the only one that I could have at the time. Well, yes, I had a better hull at my disposal, but none of them, it wasn't as good as this one, but... Yeah, it was close enough. I wish that I had more room on the bow, but I didn't. Uh, because it looks like the bow is extremely long in the designs. But, you know, it's a 900 foot long ship. What more do you want? So, yeah, this is what I got. Let's see if she can handle the uh, the small American task force that I put up uh, against her. Because I think these ships will perform immaculately. So, let's see, shall we? All right, so we have two of these number 13 class battleships, two battle cruisers, and two heavy cruisers. The enemy has one battleship, four heavy cruisers, and five light cruisers. So maybe we can stand a decent chance. Let's see how we do. So that was Jun San and Chu. So we got 18 inch guns. That's our advantage right there. I'm surprised this thing's this thing actually looks okay it may not be perfect firing away battle cruisers are either branching off or something else Oh, they are heading towards us immediately. Let's aim at that battleship. Speed it up. Hmm. Oh, well, they're firing at us. We need to know what their battleship has, actually. Oh, 18 inch pinned. Ooh, t decent damage. It's a weird looking pre dreadnought. Or it's, a, it's just a weird looking dreadnought in particular. It's on like 16 inch guns. Got a lot of them. Sink the big boat. There we go. Damage to the main gun. We didn't really hurt her, though. Our armor is somewhat thin. Ooh. Fire an HE at us. There we go. Two fires and flooding. Oh, we put a big hole in her. 
this is a cheap Tillman. This looks like a very cheap looking Tillman. It's all just clear deck space big, and just guns everywhere. They're really hitting that damn cruiser. She's just taking on water, but I mean, we're fine. The battleships are fine. They're the star of the show. They're the ones that sort of really need to stay alive. Oi, don't turn. Oh yeah, we're getting some good grounds in. That one went straight through the... One of those freeboards? Went straight through, though. I don't know why my sound keeps glitching out. I hate it whenever it does that. Oh great, now they're focusing fire on us. Fire at the West Virginia. She seems to be wanting some. Oh, that's not, not very nice, Chief. Our five inches are starting to engage, and our torpedoes just fired. They have torpedoes too themselves, don't they? Yeah, they do. They have tons. Our torpedoes are larger though, so we got somewhat of a better range. Team went straight through that cruiser. They're heavy. That's the problem. They're super heavy shells, so they go straight through. Take on the Dallas, then. I didn't realize how close they were. We're tanking the shots. Just the torpedoes is what we need to really be worried about. No, I meant fire at the Fargo or whatever its name is. Yeah, the Fargo. I wanted to fire at that since she wasn't turning, but nope, now they're all turning away. They're probably spreading out from the torpedoes. Fargo got hit. Woohoo. It's a turkey shoot. Oh, because she's stuck standing still. But there goes a uh, cruiser. Let's aim at the Colorado. <laughs> 18 inch guns just blasting away. Oh, hello there. Oh, Jesus Christ, they fired everything. They didn't like the fact that we fired our torpedoes. I guess they returned a favor. We're fine, we're still afloat. Sink the Dallas. It doesn't show who fired all their torpedoes. Close. Start sailing away. What was that? Okay, so she's packing 14 inch guns. So 
a battleship name. Yeah. Okay, so we sunk another cruiser. We sunk a light cruiser. Oh, they destroyed one of the tubes. Yeah, we're putting holes in their cruisers, just that... They closed the gap while we were too focused on the battleships and fired their torpedoes. There we go. Another 18 inch hit. I think we'll destroy the ship before we sink her. Both of her engines, two of her engines are down, her rudder's damaged, she's taken on water. Torps got a ship. Was that one of our Torps? I don't know. The Friedrich is... Ooh, she's taking water fast. Don't know if the crew will save her. Mm, they might. It's slowing. Sunk the Dallas. Let's get the Friedrich because she didn't go down. We are fine in a way. Okay, now the battleship's really wanting to play. Our guns are larger. And there goes the Friedrich. Oh, good lord, she's holding on by just a thread. There she goes. Alright, now the battleship. There should be target practice for these boys. Oh, they are. The 18 inches are already just making mincemeat of her. 12 inches of armor. Yeah, a good foot thick, but nothing against super heavy 18 inch gun shells. Got one of her captains, so that means we pierce the citadel. Or, yeah. No, the conning tower. That one through the top deck. coming out of the uh, the holes that we put in her. Oh my goodness. All of her compartments are red and she is... She's in pain. There she goes. Alright, now we can focus on the smaller ships. Because there's a bunch of them back there. There's one over there. The Indianapolis. Whoop, 18 inch guns. Damn, these things are accurate. Japanese have some god tier gunners. Now we're taking fire. Fired all of our torps. 
for one of them. Or is that all of them button bunched up? Yeah, that's all of them bunched up. They're starting to spread, though. She fired her torpedoes, so we're going the opposite direction that I think she fired hers. Just like she's doing when we fired ours. Fired again. Yep, there they are. God, their torpedoes are fast. Whoa! Lucky shot right there. Surprise, 13 inches of armor held up. Guess we got good on uh, how powerful our enemy ships are, because they weren't that powerful apparently. Philadelphia's taking a lot of hurt. Oh, <laughs> the Colorado and West Virginia are already hurt. <clears throat> Philadelphia is running. And there she goes. I thought that I was I was expecting a much more uh, <laughs> stronger enemy. Oh good lord, the concentration of shells in that direction is a lot. Oh good lord. She fired her torpedoes. I think our sister might take some hits. Oh no, she dodged. Battlecruiser? Wow. Oh no, us. <laughs> well, damn. Ah, uh, yes. Oh shit, the Tacoma is, uh, she's perfectly fine. Let's sink the uh, weaklings first before we focus on the heavier. Colorado's taking some uh, major damage. She's turning away now. It won't matter. Fine, West Virginia wants to play. <laughs> Ooh, ammo detonation. Colorado's turning back. She wants revenge. Ah. Tacoma's really wanting to go. She's the last of uh, the ships. Somebody fired their torpedoes, it sounded like. Our five-inch guns are just pinging her. 
But these 18 inch guns won't. If they hit. Jeez, she's already taken some... She's already taken on water. Did she take an 18-inch gun shell? Yeah, now she did. Reminds me of... Oh, Jesus Christ. The torpedoes. Are we going to dodge? Oh, we got lucky. How about our sister? She's... Not fine. Oh. Well, there goes the enemy. We won, just like the Japanese intend, in terms of naval doctrine. What's the name of that naval doctrine? Uh, Kentai Kesson, I think it is? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> we won. Massive battle. The enemy had more ships. We put a bunch of tonnage in the ground... Uh, granted, I didn't think that they would throw some sort of weak-looking ships like that. So, I mean... I mean, yeah. This thing's pretty good. Provided that the enemy's weak. When the game gives uh, bad RNG to the AI. So, uh... <laughs> that being said... I wish that the number 13 battleship was in, uh, say, World of Warships. You know, the 18-inch guns... I mean, we already got the Yamato. The Americans have a ship with the 18-inch guns. It's one of the last uh, of the supersized, supersized standard class battleships, almost like a, a Tillman style. And, I mean, this thing, probably a premium, I'd say. I mean, hell, almost uh, like a sort of a, a premium that you can buy through uh, free experience points. Just like you can with, I think it's Nelson. You can do that with the Nelson. You buy it for like 100,000, 150,000 free experience points. Maybe something like that would be nice. In fact, the name that I gave the ship, uh, I gave it from a concept of the World of Warships. Uh, um, like drawing sheet of uh what if this ship was thrown in there it was just a concept it was made i think by a fan but i mean still though i like it i never heard of it and it didn't disappoint me uh granted like i said the enemy had sort of bad ships i gave them a lot of numbers maybe maybe i shouldn't go too easy <laughs> or maybe the uh random ship making generator for the uh ai shouldn't be too uh too easy but yeah anywho i liked it hope y'all liked it uh please like and subscribe didn't like it go ahead comment whatever if y'all want to see more of these go on the channel if y'all like what you see on the channel go ahead and subscribe so yeah thank you all for watching and have a great day